Thank you for joining me today to discuss the findings of three reports that my office released this morning. I will begin with our audit of professional services contracts. It looked at whether federal contracts awarded to McKinsey and Company between 2011 and 2023 complied with applicable policies and provided Canadians with value for money spent. These contracts spanned 20 federal organizations, including 10 Crown Corporations. The total value of contracts awarded to McKinsey and Company during the period we reviewed totaled $209 million, of which about $200 million was spent. We found that organizations awarding the contracts showed a frequent disregard for federal contracting and procurement policies and guidance. We also found that each organization's own practices often did not demonstrate value for money. The extent of non-compliance and risks to value for money varied across organizations. For example, in 10 of the 28 contracts that were awarded through a competitive process, we found that bid evaluations did not include enough information to support the selection of McKinsey and Company as the winning bidder. While this audit focused on contracts awarded to McKinsey and Company, it highlights basic requirements and good practices that all federal organizations should follow when procuring professional services on behalf of the Government of Canada. Federal contracting and procurement policies exist to ensure fairness and transparency and value for Canadians, but they only work if they are followed. Turning now to our audit of Sustainable Development Technology Canada, <clears throat> which looked at whether the Foundation managed public funds in accordance with the terms and conditions of contribution agreements and its legislative mandate. We also looked at Innovation Science and Economic Development Canada's oversight and administration of public funds. Between March 2017 and December 2023, the Foundation approved $856 million of funding to 420 projects. The audit found that there were significant lapses in Sustainable Development Technology Canada's governance and stewardship of public funds. Specifically, the Foundation awarded $59 million to 10 projects that did not meet key requirements set out in the contribution agreements between the government and the Foundation. These projects were ineligible for funding because, for example, they did not support the development or demonstration of a new technology or the projected environmental benefits were overstated. Wow. Green slush fund. I am also very concerned by breakdowns in the Foundation's governance. We found that these organizations have neither the capacity nor the tools to effectively fight cybercrime as cyber attacks grow in number and sophistication. Part of the issue is the federal government's siloed and disconnected approach. We found breakdowns in response, coordination, tracking and information sharing between and across federal organizations. In addition, given the links between spam and cybercrime, the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission's narrow view of its role has limited the extent to which it helps protect Canadians. Effectively addressing cybercrime relies on incident reports going to the organizations best equipped to receive them and on those organizations acting on those reports. The current system for reporting cyber incidents is confusing and it does not meet the needs of individuals reporting these crimes. The takeaway from these reports is that when good governance is lacking, the remedy isn't necessarily new processes or more people or money. It's about applying the rules that exist and having the right people with the right expertise for the job. Merci, thank you. Je suis maintenant prête à répondre à vos questions.